Super Bowl tickets. Curious how to get them? Let's find out. What's up guys, my name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about Super Bowl tickets, how to get them, how they're distributed, what's going on with them, all things Super Bowl tickets, let's discuss. So first off, how are tickets distributed? Basically you have a 100% allocation of seats. The NFL says, okay, the two teams who are gonna qualify for the Super Bowl, you will each get 17.5% of the tickets. It makes sense, teams who are in the Super Bowl, they should probably, you know, be able to attend said Super Bowl. Come on Steelers, 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 come on Steelers. Now, 17.5%, that sounds like quite a bit. However, however, it's not quite as much as one may think. Let's, let's, let's do some quick math here. So 2021 Super Bowl, they're playing out in Raymond James Stadium. It has about a 65, 66,000 stadium cap. But let's go on the assumption of 65, thousand tickets. So of 65,000 tickets, there are 17.5% given to each of the different teams. So if you do the math, 11,375. But hold on, that's not all going to season seat holders. That's also being split between you know, team personnel, players, coaches, all that kind of stuff. So the players, coaches, they actually each get two tickets themselves personally as well. They have the option to purchase up to another 13 tickets at face value. Quite a bit, adds up to almost a thousand tickets that are going just to team staff and you know players and all those guys. So once they've taken their allocation, everything else will then be split with the season seat holders. So if you end up being a season seat holder of that team, you're gonna get a chance to get some tickets. You go into a little draw, a little sweepstakes to buy some face value seats. Hopefully your name gets called, pulled out of the drum, get that sweet deal, but, but, small chance. So don't rely on that completely. However, definitely your first best chance of getting seats at face value. So you do the divvy up there, 35%, gone. Now, next up, the host team. Host team will get about 5% of tickets. Again, most of these will go to team players, team manager, you know, staff, that kind of stuff. Actual season seat holders, they may get a small, small, small percentage, but unlikely they'll get too many. However, 5% is not, you know, it's not too bad. 5% on 65,000, it's about 3,250. So, you know, even if they give it about 1,000 again to, you know, team staff, players, that kind of thing, there's still about 2,000 tickets left that they can distribute however they will. Obviously, some season seat holders will get some, but it's not a lot. Just because your team hosts it doesn't quite mean you're gonna get some tickets. Now. What about the other 29 teams who are not in the Super Bowl? Well, they all get a 1.2% share each. Fantastic, wonderful, excellent. They're not gonna split that with you, most likely. That's, you know, about 780. And they're, you know, again, giving that up with players, team staff, coaches, that kind of thing. The amount of seats left for the actual season seat holders of those teams, very, very small. So if you do the math there, it ends up being 34.8% of the seats. So now if you add up the 35%, the 5%, and the 34.8%, we're left with 25.2% tickets left. And what happens with these tickets? The NFL controls them all. So the NFL, they could go ahead and sell them through Ticketmaster, through her face value, blah de la de la you know, all that great stuff. But instead, they actually send them to their official hospitality sponsors, NFL on location, Prime Sports, all of their main sponsors, they're gonna dump a bulk of those tickets there, and those tickets are gonna be sold at market value. Not base value, market value. The final remainder will be given up to you know, different sponsors and raffles and lotteries and that kind of thing, giving fans you know the, the, the hope and dream of getting those tickets, but nothing is actually moving into the hands of fans directly, unless you look in the final, final small pieces where they do their little lotteries, they'll do you know, a lottery for ADA tickets, they'll do some other giveaways and fan contests and all sorts of that kind of fun stuff, which they do every single year. But again, these tickets are not being sold directly to fans at face value, they're being sold at market value. And unfortunately, you gotta, that's it's just the way it is. There's no real way of going ahead and getting those tickets for face value unless you're basically a season seed holder, a player, a sponsor of the NFL, or you win one of their lotteries. Unlikely earning your tickets for face value. So with all that said, 100% of the tickets have now been distributed out. How do you get them? Let's start from cheapest to most expensive. So the cheapest way of getting tickets is actually go ahead and win them. How do you win them? Basically entering contests and lotteries and all the different things, you know, going ahead and winning those contests, sponsorship promotions, entering in as many of those things as you possibly can. You're hoping you're gonna win some seats to the NFL Super Bowl, but again, odds very, very low. But again, if you do win, you get the whole trip paid for, you get your hotel, lodging, food, money, parties, all the great stuff. And you get to go to the big game all for free. Odds of winning depend on number of entries made. So again, not good. 
Now, if you're a season seat holder, you do have a chance every year of actually going ahead and being picked out of the lucky few to go ahead and get buy some seats for face value. But again, I should mention face value of Super Bowl tickets, while they used to be relatively cheap back in, you know, the, the 60s and the 70s. They're now approaching that $950, almost $1,000 mark just for face value in the upper echelons of the stadium, up in the corners where you can barely see those players. They're this small, this small. But, you know, it, it, a thousand bucks is not bad when you consider that average resale prices are generally over $4,000 per ticket. But if you do get them, Fantastic, wonderful, excellent, you're going to the big game. Now, lastly, the most common way of actually going ahead and being able to get those NFL Super Bowl tickets is you're buying them on the resale market. So you're buying them from the Stub Hubs, the Seat Geeks, the Vivid Seats, the NFL on location, Prime Sport, those guys, any of the other hospitality teams that go ahead and fulfill orders for the Super Bowl, that's kind of where you're generally going to be able to get your seats. Can you get them cheaper than face value? No. Don't even think about it. You're generally paying, you know, that minimum $2,000, $3,000. It's possible you're going to be up in the four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. Some years that, you know, over $8,000 just get into the stadium. It really depends year on year who the teams are, where the event's taking place, what other stuff is going on in the world. That's really going to dictate what the actual price is going to be for the Super Bowl. Now, if you want to get tickets to the actual event, generally speaking, not always, but generally, they'll normally have a spike initially once the teams are announced. Prices, everybody's going crazy. Prices go up, up, up. Everyone's going nuts. And then as you get close to the event, prices will slowly drop back down. As you approach the event date, you're going to get some great deals potentially. But again, because there's so many people looking to buy tickets, prices, they can only fall so far before someone says, hey, got to go buy those tickets. They're only 3200 bucks. Got to buy them now. No, 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 no. Really, it's, you're not going to be able to find too many good deals. And the last thing I want to say is if you see a ticket price that is too good to be true, generally speaking, I'd be very careful, be very wary of it. There is generally a market price set for Super Bowl tickets. If you're finding them for, you know, $1,000, $2,000 below what they're going for on the resale market. Now with 2021 specifically, they are doing mobile tickets for the Super Bowl. So if you do get some tickets transferred over to you, once they're in your account, you should be good to go. Nothing to worry about. But again, if you do end up getting some hard stock paper tickets, got to be careful just make sure you know you do your due diligence take a look at the tickets do your best to make sure you're buying authentic tickets don't want to end up in a situation where you're paying thousand bucks for a piece of paper that does nothing that's all i got for today if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button down below be sure to subscribe count already lots of great content coming up every single week and see you guys next time